Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel MI Tutorials. In today's video, I'm going to show you a super handy trick in Power BI which will let you create a slicer that excludes selected values. Imagine this, you want to analyze your data but instead of filtering in certain values, you want to filter them out. It's not something that Power BI does this by default but with a simple DAX measure, you can make it happen. When I make a selection on my slicer here, for example, if I chose bakery, I no longer have bakery appearing on my bar chart. Likewise, I can make multiple selections in here and whatever categories that you select here from this slicer, they will be excluded from your visual. So I'm going to teach you how to do this. So let's get started with this tutorial. Let's go to the data modeling tab and then let's click on new table. Let's create a new table here with the distinct categories. So I'm going to just call this table here as categories is equals to and then I'm going to use the distinct function and pass in the category field that I have in my orders table and then click on confirm. We've now created a table here which has the unique list of categories and if I go to the model view here you will see that I have the categories table that is created here and make sure that this is a disconnected table. We don't have to connect this table with our fact table here. Now let's go back to our report view and then let's add the category here into the slicer and I'm going to go to build a visual tab and change this visual into the slicer visual here. Make sure the category that you add into the category slicer here is from the table that you have just created. And now let's start by creating in a new measure. I'm going to call this measure as exclude is equals to let's use the switch statement followed by true here. I'm going to check if my category field here is filtered or not. So I'm going to pass in the category here and then close the bracket here followed by a double ampersand. I'm going to use an AND function here to check for another statement and this time I'm going to use the values function here values and then pass in the category field from my fact table close the bracket here and then say in and then I'm going to type in values again and then this time pass in the category that we have created manually. I'm going to close the bracket here and then followed by a comma. The result here needs to be 0 else 1. I'm going to close the bracket here and confirm. And now let's select the bar chart visual that we have here and then let me bring in the exclude measure that we have created into filters on this visual and then I'm going to say is one and click on apply filter and now when I make a selection on the slicer you will notice that bakery is no longer category available on my bar chart likewise if I select snacks here you will see that snacks is no longer appearing on my visual so this is how you'll be able to exclude values based on the selection of your slicer so that's it guys in this particular tutorial I hope you enjoyed this tutorial you learned something new today please consider subscribing to my channel for more such tutorials